let's talk about September 27th, 1825. Now you might ask yourself, why such a random day from over 190 years ago? This was not an ordinary day. It was a day responsible for one of the most significant events in human history. On this day, a locomotive made its way into Darlington, England, hauling several wagons of coal and flour and the first purpose-built carriage called Experiment, marking the world's first passenger carrying train and the beginning of the railway age. Since that day, the signaling industry has continually evolved to improve the operational performance of subways and metro lines all over the world. And in 1985, the Toronto Transit Commission and in 1986, Vancouver Skytrain ushered in a new era when they deployed the world's first CBTC-based signaling system. Since then, CBTC has become the technology of choice for transit authorities around the world because of its unmatched ability to move more passengers through a metro than any other transit technology available. But the question is, what is CBTC? Hi, my name is Naeem Ali, and I'm a CBTC specialist and I've been immersed in this technology for over 20 years. I created this animated training course because of a lack of CBTC resources available for rail professionals. In this animated course, you will learn about the basic foundation that defines a CBTC system to give a firm footing in a technology sweeping the industry. You will learn a brief history of signaling, compare fixed block signaling to moving block signaling, Cover the definition of a CBTC system as defined in IEEE 1474.1 and finish off by describing the three basic CBTC building blocks. By the end of this course, you will have a good grasp of what makes a communication-based train control system tick. Upgrade your skills now. Visit my website and register.